Hey, this is Dominique from Unique Films, and today I'm going to be doing a basic tutorial on color correction and color grading for your blogs. And this can be used for any kind of video, honestly. I'm going to be working in Adobe Premiere. This is something that I use for my vlogs or any videos that I'm kind of going run and gun where I don't have a lot of time to do color grading, like if it's a film or a commercial. So this is kind of like a basic quick edit, but it makes a huge difference in your video doing just a little bit of color grading. If you want to see more tutorials or reviews, of equipment go ahead and subscribe to my page and like this video and let me know if you have any comments or questions that you have or anything that you would like me to do a video on so I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro version 14.1 I'm gonna open up my project I did several different looks so there's this look then this, I kind of, I kind of filmed a little too dark. And there's this without any lights on the back. And then we change to this blue. The first thing I do is I'll just go to basic correction and then also make, make sure that your screen is all the way up. But you know, you could do different settings, but I honestly always edit in color. What I do usually is I'll start with an auto and then see where that gets me. Go to three-way color corrector and I plop this on and I go before the Lumetri color profiles in uh, there and then so I just pull these this input level of the backs just up a little bit see how it's like changing that I really want to see the I don't want to go too much because if you go too much, it takes out the detail. I use Canon Log, so um, you know my footage always comes out really flat, and that's better for editing because you can put in the detail and um, still still keep all that detail. So I just bring it in a little bit, and I just kind of look and see where I think without it distorting, that's distorting too much on my hair, but it looks good on the shirt, but it's just too much. So we just go in a little bit and. I'll show you what it looks like. You want to put it in before the Lumetri colors because afterwards it just kind of like takes out some of the detail. It depends on what you're, what you like to do. So like if you like that kind of look, that's cool. But um, I like, depends on what it is, but I like it very crisp. I also make sure that color is the last thing that I am doing because when you put color on everything, it really, really um, slows everything down. So just with that little bit, we have that going, okay? So, and then, okay, so we go back to Lumetri colors and I do this sometimes. Um, for vlogs, it depends. So I put a LUT in and I have a LUT call, where'd it go? I go to LUTs and I have a LUT called, okay, fine. So when I input that, obviously that's way too much. So you want to really scale. So this is what it looks like fully on. Well, yeah, so um, I just barely, just to make the skin tones come together a little bit more. So we're gonna do that. And I wanna bring some of the shadows, some more of the shadows up. Little bit of contrast and I just adjust as needed. Um, highlights down just a tad. So we see that going on. Okay, so as you can tell, the colors have started, are like a little dull. I'm gonna bring this up just a tiny bit. So that's my third step. And then I go in with my HSL secondary and I'll usually start with selecting all the blues. Now, we don't want See how like it has some of this in there? We don't want that in there. We really don't want any of me in in it. So we play around with this until we are happy with the results. Um, some, you can put a little bit of blur on, but sometimes it actually looks better. Well, maybe this part. Sometimes we have to go in with a mask. 
Okay, now, let's see. We might wanna extend, yeah, there we go. Okay, so then you can extend it. Perfect. So there is a science to this, really, um, because you really, um, I choose colors for my background that are not going to mesh with my skin tone. Um, for this purpose because um, you you want to be able to separate yourself from the background. That's just kind of basic um, film, you know, production. You want to separate whatever is in your focus from the background. So this is kind of over here, but we can kind of go back later. So we unselect the color gray. And then let's just see if we put the saturation in it like this. Let's see what it does. So I'm feeling like there's like a little bit too there. There we go. We don't want it to look too dark. Where'd it go? So. It's a process, It really, you don't want it to be, you don't want to do too much. See, this is, it may look fine on a still image, but when you play it, you can kind of see that um, grain, see a lot of the grain, we actually don't need this part. So we see some of that grain coming in. Adding saturation to my lips, which honestly doesn't look too bad, except it's just a process. It's a process, but so if we put a little bit more blur in there and maybe denoise. Sometimes when you put too much blur on it, it like does a weird thing to the edge of your skin here. Um, so you just have to play with it. So if it's like that, you definitely see that grain. If, if you don't put any blur on it, it looks pretty crisp when it comes to the outline. But anyway, so you just put a little bit of blur on it. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, this is what you do now. So you take this, you delete it, but you go into master and you put it in there and then you delete this, put it in master and now it's over all your clips. So the only reason, way you're going to change the base is if you go back here and go into this. But we don't wanna do this um, on this one because we just want to change this individual clip. So there we go, we did that. Um, I'm gonna bring the highlights down just a tad so that it's not blown out too much. You wanna be able to really see the skin tone because I'm doing a like self tanning tutorial. Okay, just to make sure that there's no clips and obviously you watch it fully on your own time. So here I am shooting my legs and it just was kind of dark, so I think I'm gonna just bring the the exposure up a little bit. This is when I was super tired, I just woke up. So we wanna add, we are not gonna obviously treat this one the same, but we're gonna add those blacks in. Um, we wanna edit it light, kind of like we're doing it, you know. I wanna still have the same, um, we need this on so that it's consistent, um, but we do not need this, and I don't think this even makes a difference. It's just creating more uh, noise over here, so we don't need this. But unless, reset, unless we want to use this color.
and do something with this color. There's the rest of it. Every color. <laughs> My eyes are so red, it's like registering on here. So if we wanted to do something, you know, and not have it just be gray, we could add some color in there, but we need to dig. <laughs> Sometimes I just like to do To do this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, see, this is why you don't. <laughs> you pick a color <laughs> that does not reflect on your actual body. So th I'm just touching the shadows right now. We could totally do. We can try to. <laughs> uh, okay, so when I do this. Um, when I want to add a color to it, what it looks like before, it looks pretty nasty and boring, especially because my eye looked tired as heck. Deselect all the other things because we don't want, we just want to be affecting the colors. Okay. And then what you want to do Creating a mask. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then invert it. You're going to want to feather it out a lot so that all we want is that it doesn't get into my eyes and make my eyes blue, whatever color. And, that, and it mostly, even if I move around a little bit, it still is gonna kind of keep it and it won't be too bad. So I think it looks a lot better colored. Well, it does get my hair a little bit too much. Let's see if we could do something about that. If we can bring some of the shadows out, take it out a little bit. it a little bit going in like this I want it a little bit brighter little more shadow and then we just want the blues really the other ones don't matter. And we'll take it out of the hair more. Because this is like... That actually was unnecessary. Okay, so we've captured pretty much all of this. There's a little bit of hair left. Let's do this. Boom. Okay, so on this one, we can really do a lot of stuff so this is why it's good to film with all one color backgrounds especially blue or green anything that's not going to pick up it just makes it faster you can totally go back and change it it's just this in particular this blue and that's what I did with Moses's little video that I did it was just easy you can go in and change the shadows, look at that. And I'm gonna add a little bit more. It's a tiny bit of blur. More denoise. Um, it's also good to look at it with this. And so you can see how the colors match. And you, get, you can really make it anything you want. Look at this. 
it almost acts like a green screen. So it's pretty cool. Um, and not only a green screen, but like you get that gradient. It's really nice. So we don't want it to be too overpowering because we don't want it to overpower this, my skin tone, but it just makes it pop. It's really nice with one color. So you just play with it until you like what you think looks good. I like the contrast because it gives that nice gradient. Some people like a solid color. I like a little gradient. Um, saturation, you know, that's that. Let's look at the difference. Okay. So that was good to go back and look because we need more. Let's look at, let's split screen it really quick. Comparison view. There's a little bit too much. the rest of these are good before we go on. I know there's a lot of different ways that people color grade, but this is just how I do it. And this is what I do for most of my vlogs. I know I could go into detail with a lot of other things, but I hope this helped you. If it did, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to my channel and be on the lookout for other tutorials. Thanks for watching.